And uh, my mom would draw pictures for me at night. <clears throat> and she'd do two things every time. A Gordon's potato chip truck. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, she did because it had spoke wheels. She put a piece of paper in her lap and I was four years old. And I can remember this. I can't remember yesterday, but I can remember <laughs> that. And remember what you had for breakfast. I know, and a horse. A horse and a Gordon potato chip truck. And that's my earliest recollection of being introduced to art. Now, I went to art school in, in a little school in Nashville, Harris School of Art. And every year they take folks, artists, to Europe if you wanted to go, and Italy specifically. Great trip. We stayed in the villa, we built 1500 for three months. And we studied art, and we painted, and we went to all the museums and saw all the great art in Italy. And then at the end of the trip, I had $13 left over, I think. And I wrote home and said, send me some money, Mom, Dad. And they did it. And two other artists, I flew to Paris for three days. And that was a big mistake. <laughs> Paris just didn't write to Italy. You know why? because it was dull, gray, overcast, and rain the whole time. They were there. <laughs> and the first night I got there, I went to the Eiffel Tower, slept all afternoon, went to the Eiffel Tower, walked 42 miles to get there, looked up and they turned off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> and that was uphill both ways. It was, I put it in the snow too, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been blessed all my life with good family. My lovely wife, Jane, they're all sitting over here to tell you. My daughter, Shannon, and her husband, John, is a musician and songwriter. She is a master. What else can you do as a musician and songwriter? And my son, Sean, model for me. Most of them are family members, but not all of them. My family members were cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and the art school I went to was a commercial art school, but they taught illustration too. So we painted in oils and we painted for models and then all of the things that prepared me. So 17 years, I was a commercial artist, illustrator, and designer in Nashville. At the same time, like so many of us, our Turbney, McCarthy, you name them, John Clymer, all illustrators, we eventually drifted into painting fine art full time, and I did too. So, 1978, I phased out my my office and career illustration design, went to painting fine art totally. And then there were years of that that was kind of lean, you know, and, and uh, but we get through it due to the support of good people. Brenna Goodacre, Lord Kunstler, Roy Anderson, Tom Hill, Robert McGinnis, Ed Dwight, John Coleman, and last year's honoree, Martin Greeley, who really wanted to be here tonight and sent David a very precious letter uh, that I delivered to him earlier today with Martin expressing his congratulations. To the newest recipient of the Booth Museum Artist of Excellence Award, please welcome David Wright. stop here just for a moment. Why are we here? It's not for me. You know why we're here tonight? Because you all support this museum. This is the greatest 
contemporary Western art museum in the country. No way. <laughs> in the world. Okay, in the world. Let's don't be pikers in the universe. <laughs> and you're laughing at that, but you know what happened this past year? One of our artists right here tonight has a work of art that's in space. The first artist right over here, Tamara King, has a piece of art that went up with the Elon Musk space <laughs> But I'm walking in some good, big, big footsteps. You saw those names up there. I know most of those artists, and they're great, good artists. I admire them. They've all accomplished a great deal in their life, and I, tell you, I can't for a moment tell you how long it is to be up here. It's really you. And if I can, rather than talk about me, talk about you. Yeah. Wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, let's stop here just for a moment. Why are we here? It's not to me. You know why we're here tonight? Because you all support this museum. This is the greatest contemporary Western art museum in the country. No way. <laughs> in the world. Okay, in the world. Let's don't be pikers in the universe. <laughs> and you're laughing at that, but you know what happened this past year? One of our artists right here tonight has a work of art that's in space. The first artist right over here, Tamara King, has a piece of art that went up with the Elon Musk space There's no way that I have the words that you just expressed introduce you <laughs> or to say thanks to you for what you've done but I think everybody out here understands that don't they when Seth told me okay you've got to say something I said how much time do you that I have he said enough to say thanks <laughs> and, but there's one other group here I really want to thank as an artist when we were growing up, we all heard the term, live in a garret and paint for art's sake. That's the true artist. Well, I can tell you right now, I love to eat. <laughs> and you can't live in a garret and paint for art's sake and eat. And you know why? Because all of you, everybody out here that supports this museum and others too, and supports and buys our work, you enable us to do what we love to do. Really do. And at the same time provide for our families.